In July 2008, Rick Constantine was involved in a head-on car crash in Las Vegas. The accident left him paralyzed on his right side. Despite surgery to ease the pressure on his spine and numerous physical therapy sessions, his condition just didn't improve much. Doctors told Constantine he'd never walk again, but they were wrong. Constantine can not only get up out of his wheelchair under his own power, he can also walk without a cane. In August 2005, Steve Isaacs was riding his mountain bike in Escondido's Daily Ranch. He swerved to dodge something on the trail and wiped out. The accident damaged three vertebrae. Surgeons put in four plates and a dozen screws. After the crash, Isaacs had little control over his left leg. And now? The secret to Isaacs and Constantine's recovery is a unique type of surgery called selective peripheral neurotomy. It's performed on people who have paralyzed or severely spastic limbs. The surgery cuts out parts of the nerves that are causing the most interference with proper movement, while leaving the healthy parts of the nerves and all of the muscles intact. UC San Diego neurosurgeon Justin Brown trained in France with one of the pioneers of the procedure. Dr. Brown is one of the only practitioners of it in the U.S. He says there are several advantages of the surgery compared with the standard treatment of cutting tendons or muscles. Because it's less invasive with a smaller incision, recovery from peripheral neurotomy is quicker for the patient. And we actually preserve the muscles. The, when we cut away a little bit of the nerve, um, the rest of the nerve fibers that go to that muscle will sprout out and recover it, but it's just less spastic, it's less unhealthy acting. Dr. Brown points out the surgery doesn't reverse or cure paralysis per se. But we can take a limb that's been very spastic or dysfunctional and we can improve its ability to move. Or sometimes they don't have the ability to move, but we can at least simply get it into a position that's less uncomfortable and more functional for them. That if the arm is pulled up in this position, they have no active ability to move it. If we can relax the arm enough that they can pull it through a sleeve or they can wash it and improves hygiene, even that is a good goal for some of these patients. Rick Constantine didn't go through the surgery for such modest gains. He wanted to get back on his feet again. A few days after the procedure, he did. I was amazed. I could not believe it. When I stood up, I was expecting to feel pain or something. And I mean, the more I came up, 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 it's like, this is, I felt like I was waking up from a dream. Less than a week after his surgery, Steve Isaacs goes to a rehab facility in Mira Mesa. It's a place that specializes in helping people with spinal cord injuries, strokes, and cerebral palsy. Isaacs works on a treadmill while the director of the facility, Dr. Brad Marcus, monitors his activity. Does he used to snap back a lot? Almost every time, yeah. Marcus says he's amazed at how much better Isaacs is walking. So if you see right here, this is the classic butterfly pattern. It looks fantastic. Um, this would be his heel strike on the left and his toe off. And then on the right, this would be his heel strike and his toe off. And then the center of pressure, you can see as it's moving back and forth. Before the surgery, Isaacs couldn't hit these marks consistently with his left foot. It felt like I was pulling a thousand pound lead weight through as my leg. And uh, because all this tone was fighting it. Now, now it, it bends and comes through. Uh, almost f um, without any effort. Isaacs desperately wants to get back to 100%. Thanks to the surgery, he's a little bit closer. My end goal really was always to, uh, sounds a little funny, but walk on the beach with my wife again. Um, walking in the sand is something that you can't really do easy. You take for granted, but when you don't have the balance, it's almost off limits. Now that Rick Constantine is walking again, he's planning to have Dr. Brown operate on his right arm. He's been told not to expect complete recovery, but any improvement would be a plus. Constantine feels confident that he'll keep getting better. His new goal is to spread the word that help is available. We've been told for years and years you'll never walk again. Paralysis is it. Learn to live with it. Medical technology is come a long ways now. I am the living proof that it does work, it can be helped, and I want to let others know. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.